Okay, I think it's recording. Um, so I went to a Goodwill and it was really crappy. It's the first time I probably ever left a store thrifting with nothing, but anyway, I was going to kind of do my reaction to the video and probably voiceover because there's going to be a lot of music going on. And yeah, so here we go. walking up to the store. Um, I'm really good at filming the ground, y'all, if you don't know this. And there's this pumpkin in the entryway, and I'm like, hmm, I think it's just for the car. Bummer. But I do ask the woman later, and I don't know how long the video lasts either, because, like, when I left, I realized I wasn't recording, and I was just talking to myself. So, this is the biggest Goodwill I've ever been to, so that's saying a lot for Louisiana. And it's mostly closed, which was also a real bummer. I'd never been to this location. So here's their jewelry cabinet. Nothing that amazing. But, you know, I saw some cool bracelets. They were like black and white. And I would wear them, but... I didn't feel like asking somebody to come take, you know, some plastic bangles out the um, jewelry display. I'm always at a loss for words, if y'all can't tell. My mind's always elsewhere. <laughs> um, some necklaces and a Barbie. There's the shoes in the ground and a disgruntled employee. And they're playing like lift me high or some kind of thing like that another disgruntled employee why don't they sell those things it's not fair and so ties and like men's suits and I'm like oh we're getting to the hard goods I'm so excited I'm gonna find something I always find something and there's a sofa books DVDs golf clubs like 80s lamps. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Because I'm using my iPhone at the time. I wasn't planning on going here. And so, you know, clear glass galore. I'm like on a dishes ban. If I see maybe carnival glass or something, I might pick it up. That mug seemed kind of interesting. Couldn't really read it. Uh, boop, put that one back. And then, that was a really cool, oh sorry, my dog's in here. Really cool Florida mug, but obviously it's very not vintage. And it's, um, you make a luster where you want. And I try not to pick up souvenir pieces too often anymore either. I don't have the best of luck with those. Time flies when you're having rum. Yes, it does. Yum, yum, yum. I don't drink. <laughs> and there is some souvenir plates and they look really cool. They had a Reno. 59 cents, like those are bomb prices. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And Nassau, Bahamas. Island of something. Nassau. But those seem pretty modern to me too. Like there's no damage, but maybe they just hung on somebody's wall and they just clean them all the time. Um, Christmas dishes. Like I said, I'm staying away from the dishes, man. Okay, Art of Chocan. Now, it was obviously modern, and it was black glass, and it was a Florida souvenir piece, but it had like a price tag on it, and I was like, modern, should I, should I not? I'm looking at it, and I'm like thinking, oh, this is so cool, what do I do? regret not getting it. Let me see what the price was on that. Because there's a lot of people that like Florida stuff. Which kind of goes back on what I said about the Florida mug. I think it said $3.99. Anyway, I put that back down. There's a bunch of like clear glass. Stackable Japan mugs. I'm not allowed to buy any more mugs, but I thought those were pretty dang awesome. 
more dishes because there's something else for me to look at. Like, ooh, the Madonna and Jesus. And a whole set of brown drip, and I love that stuff, even though people are like, eh, it's brown drip. I love brown drip. And that's USA. I've never seen the shakers like that. If I don't have room for it. Oh, and they sold it by the set? I never do that. $25 for all of that. That's pretty awesome. A little sugar bowl. Just trying to see who made it. It's pretty cute. And then I was like, oh, Majolica. And then it was like, dollar, dollar store. And then I was like, shame. And I thought that clock was beautiful, but. I only really wanted to like the gaudy angel stuff. Bruno, sit still, bud. And then there's a like whole plaque and a little bathroom set. I was like, and do you want it? I don't know. And some forget me nots, which is like one of my favorite flowers. I have that exact bowl. Can you get rid of it? I'm about to donate that one. Um, that was a pretty color, but modern. And modern. And that goes with the other bathroom stuff. I didn't realize that. Ha. Connection. It's a pretty long, boring video for me not finding anything. And that was beautiful, but it was huge, as you can tell by my hand comparison. If I can talk. Woodland surprises. Raccoon. I was surprised the raccoon was not there. I just want to tell the old lady, I'm like, I'm not talking to myself, I'm talking to my camera for my YouTube channel, I'm not crazy. And she completely ignores me, he doesn't say a word, doesn't glance over at me. It's kind of awkward. And I was like, okay, you're the crazy one. When I say I was like, I never really say anything. I love that lamp, but it was super heavy, I like the pastels, and then yeah, the bottom was missing. I like lamp pairs usually. I have a pair of lamps I need to get rid of. I do have some wall sconces I need those shades for, so I was like, huh, 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 did I do it? And I didn't. And then some boring modern wall art, which you know, to each their own. People might love that art. And, you know, love at home goods type of stuff. Like you had to know that building to kind of want it, unless you can look, unless you collect random building art. Y'all, I go monotone a lot. That's just like my natural voice, so it's not me. It's me, but don't judge me. And this video is getting pretty long. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit because, like, um, um, suitcases and baby walkers. Golf clubs, they had some old golf clubs that were pretty cool. And then, this is me walking out the store, like, I can't believe I'm leaving with nothing, this never happens. And let me fast forward some more. And I get to the exit, and I'm like asking the lady, Are the pumpkins for sale? Or display? And she's like, No, they're for display. And so I was like, bummer. And I think I filmed a little outro, but anyway, I'm going to drop me down in a square, hopefully. So while I narrate, y'all can know what's going on. Um, I was going to do a short haul after this, but then I figured 
y'all don't really know me and y'all don't want to really watch me for longer than 10 minutes, so I'm going to end it here. Uh, so if you're new to my channel, thanks for joining us. And if you're not new, thanks for sticking around and peace.